what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are going to be doing the season finale of season five of peaky blinders episode six um a couple of people um ask about this um this episode six man it it was um people are telling me that it's really good it's really good that i have to watch it um so we're here so i'm not even going to waste any time with a long intro or anything man we're just going to jump into it because i know all y'all already clicked on it <laughs> anyways so we're just going to jump into it and then i'll be back to review the season itself and also the episode <clears throat> in a whole so let's just go jump into it and see what they have to offer us i want to see what what is the conclusion of the situation with um the you know the the billy boys and everything that's been happening this season man um we all know that linda left uh i you know would i think it would have been more impactful if they had killed her character off but you know i'm not writing the show it still works for me she left <laughs> you know what i'm saying it still works for me uh, kind of probably means that she's going to be returning later on in the series um, at some point because, you know, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But I do want to know what is going to be this the, the conclusion of everything that is going on So and, and, and what's going to happen. Tommy has a plan and they're executing the plan. So let's see how things go. I'll see you guys for the review. All right. What's going on, guys? Ah, oh, man, that was crazy, ain't it? That was a crazy season finale, man. Who betrayed him? Who knew about this plan? I think I have a feel. I know, man. It's got to be that dude. It has to be that guy. I don't remember his name, but... um. The guy that Finn was getting cozy with, the one that's been giving them information about the football match matches and stuff, you know, with the referees or whatever. Um, so I won. I'm pretty sure it was him because he switched from the money to the phone, and Finn had let it slip that they that they're going to kill a fascist tonight. So I think that dude might have turned into a spy. <sighs> My God, this is nuts, guys! I can't even, I can't even tell you. I mean, Alfie is alive. Oh, man, he came back to help him. I mean, <laughs> by right he should, right? Because I mean, these guys are fascists, of course. Um, and he has that touch with the with the Jewish community. Oh man, this episode was, it was good. It was a roller coaster. Um, I wonder if this had to do with Michael's, um, option, the other option that they went with. I'm wondering if it has something to do with that because this is just, it was off the cuff. At one point it was, it was a little bit off the cuff. You know what I'm saying? So it was just crazy to me how we just came up with this plan out of, out of nowhere. We know that Michael has the chops to i don't want to say do the job or take over he wants to take over and you know what i'm saying like let them be it's just crazy to me man how he just what is it with the other the other brothers the other members the other men in the family they just seem to just want to listen to their women all the time we had the same problem with with John, well, not necessarily Finn, because Finn, he just doesn't listen, period. He just doesn't listen. Um, you know, they always got to rein him in. Um, him not having a more prominent role in the family. You have Arthur had that problem with Linda, you know. I, and as I was saying during the episode, it seems like Tommy is the only one that really, really does get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he understands what it means to be a Peaky Blinder. 
he understands and also like when it comes on to um when it comes on to the women that he's with they understand after a while i mean lizzie was trying to to at one point you know she was getting a you know a little bit too big for her britches you know what i'm saying but she calmed down she realized who she's with and that's the thing like grace understood tommy and what he had to do she accepted the fact that he was a gangster she understands that he's the head of the empire she understood that so that's why i would that's what i'm saying that's what made their chemistry great on the show you know what i'm saying that's what made their chemistry so awesome on the show and it was good to see them together because they knew what they were into you get what i'm saying she wasn't oblivious to the stuff because you know what i'm saying because she used to spy on him and all this other stuff she just happened i mean but that's just my respect for their for their relationship and their chemistry on the show was it was just off the charts um a hundred percent so thank you guys so much for tuning in man this season finale i mean i really did think that molly was mostly was gonna get shot and then everything was gonna spiral out of control or something was going to happen because i was like nah this plan is it's going off too much without a hitch there has to be something that they're going to do to go into season six because they can't just do that and then you know tommy takes over the party i just felt like something wasn't there it was like also there's also the fact that mosley hasn't for for the type of person that mosley is where they you know they built him up as this great villain you know for the season and then to just kill him off so suddenly you know what i'm saying was was another thing that I was looking at and I was like, there's no way they would have killed a character like this where this is the biggest villain. Um, I shouldn't say villain because they're all pretty much villains. It's like gangs against gangs in this show. So, um, so he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's the type of character that you built up over seasons of a show. I don't think it would have done him justice if they had let he let him die this season i don't think it would have been i think it's a great decision to let him live and let this contention keep building up i think i think that this character could carry the show to a series finale to be honest he's that good on the show is acting the the the, the threat that the threat that he that he poses against the peaky blinders as in you know what i'm saying kind of like you know we've never seen um tommy basically just taking a back seat to certain things you know what i'm saying and not not fighting back and i know it's because he was you know he had his plans he was planning to take him out but at the same time you know what i'm saying nobody has ever lasted um through a season talking to tommy like that you know what i'm saying so this is the first time and i think it's well deserved i think it's well deserved that um um that they build up build up this character um as i said he's worthy of of becoming um the series finale um antagonist i should say He's worthy of that. I'm not going to lie. Like, I would love to see them build on his character a lot more. Because um, there's a lot more meaning to what, he, to what he's doing in the show. His role in the show. There's a lot more meaning to it. So, I don't know how they found out about... Um, what, what was his name again? Uh, I can't remember his name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. The sniper dude. Um, so, I don't know how they found out about that. I don't know if it's Michael. I don't know if it's Polly. I don't know. But I don't think Michael knew about the plan because he didn't talk about the plan. Michael had already gone. So I don't know if it's Polly. I don't know if it's um, the dude, you know, that, you know, Finn been getting cozy up with the dude that, uh, <laughs> that Arthur uh, was scaring in the beginning. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously the Billy Boys didn't know anything. Doesn't seem like Mosley no knew anything. 
it seems like this was a preposition made under the table somewhere. I don't know where, but we going to find out. Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this season. Um, this was this was a crazy season. Just talking about the season in itself, it was just crazy. It's not my favorite. It's not it's not my favorite season, but I think it's a good build up for next season. And I think it kind of like it it kind of feels like an unfinished story because every every season that we've had so far before now from season one through season four felt complete. This one is the first season that we didn't get a payoff. You get what I'm saying? At the end, we didn't get a payoff um, to move to a to the next step. You get what I'm saying? Um, so we had a we've had a payoff for every season. This is the first season. Um so it just feels kind of incomplete because for that reason. So, but it's definitely up there when it comes on to my ratings, when it comes on to the season that we've seen so far in this one. As I said, it's still not my favorite. Um, so, um, but it is really good. It's up there. You know what I'm saying? It's a very good season. I enjoyed it. Um, the okie doke was real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I did not expect, even though, cause we, cause as I said, I expect a payoff in episode six every time, but this time we didn't necessarily get a payoff. We got a continuance. You get what I'm saying? We got a continuance as in to be continued, you know, first time, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Cause in Tommy's word way, he's saying he, he thinks he's found somebody that he can't defeat. So, <sighs> This season was really good, man. It was really good. Definitely a 9 out of 10 season, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, remember to subscribe if you're new, like the video, and also leave a comment in the comment section, man. We out here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this season with me. Can't wait for the next season to drop, man. So, for now, something else is going to be taking up Peaky Blinders space. I don't know when the next season is going to come out. It's probably going to be sometime next year um, around this time again, I guess. I don't know if it comes out on a yearly basis or like, I don't know, every eight months or so. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, so thank you guys so much, as always, man. And I will see you guys for the next season. Peace.